In this Blender tutorial I will show you the basic principles of how to create a shell. I've assumed you have a fair bit of knowledge of uh, the basic uh, functions of Blender so won't necessarily go into the finer details but anyway hopefully this will sort of give some people an idea of how to create a shell. Ok well I'm going to remove the cube and I'm going to press 7 on my numbers pad. Now I could bring in a single vertex if I wanted to um, but it's just as easy actually to just hold down shift A and bring in a circle. Now this is where you've got to start thinking about the shape of your shell. Um, one of the problems with a lot of the shells I've seen is that they look more like dog turds to be honest with you uh, they don't have a sort of shell shape if you like um, so for this I'm gonna actually make this circle twice as big so I'm just gonna press S then 2 then I'll go into edit mode by pressing tab and I only want one of the vertices so I'm gonna just right click on a vertice and then Control I to invert the selection, X to bring up my delete options and left click on delete and this will leave you with one vertex or vertice. Okay, one to go back into um, front view and five to go into orthographic view. So press tab and go back into your um, object view and then left click on the wrench the modifiers button add modifier and then left click on screw and the first thing I need to think about is the kind of how many twists the shell is going to have so I'm going to make a reasonably simple shell so first of all, in the screw section, I'm going to just left click on the right arrow until I've got 0.4 and the iterations, I'm going to do the same until I've got 4. The box that says steps, 16, I'm going to take this up to 32 and then render steps again, 32. Then left click on apply. Okay. So I've got a spiral here. Now, shells don't spiral equally. They, um, these sort of bits at the top get closer um, and they also spiral inwards. In fact, I think one of the problems with a lot of people, they tend to work from the bottom up, whereas a shell actually is sort of, if you imagine it was started here, it would gradually be formed coming out so it's not that easy to create a perfect sort of spiral but we'll have a go I'm going to press tab and go into edit mode and think about this sort of how I want this to spiral so imagine if our little friend here our little seashell friend had started here he would have spiraled out and he would have ended up here so you're sort of almost looking at going across this way now if you left click anywhere in your view it actually moves this center so what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom out quite a bit and I'm going to to the left of this blue Z axis line I'm going to sort of place this pointer somewhere between the two and come up here quite a way I don't know. Let's try it here. Again, this is subjective. You may want to do it different to me. And then I'm going to press 7 on my numbers pad and roll my mouse so I can see what I'm doing. And 5 to go into perspective view just so I can see the last vertex on the inner, se inner side. So I'm going to right click on this then press 5 to go back into perspective view. 
bottom of the screen look two little white dots we'll say median point left click and then left click 3D cursor between the magnet and I don't know what they call this limit selection look for the button it says proportional editing and then left click connected now with this vertex selected press S then 0 and then roll your mouse to increase the circle size until you end up with a spiral left click now if you press 1 on your numbers pad you'll have something that looks like this which may or may not be what you're looking for but like I said this is a subjective way of making this okay I'm going to go back into edit mode or object mode and just drag this down I'm also going to recenter this so I'm going to press shift followed by C and I'm going to change this back to median point I ignore the fact it's come down here because this is where the center of this item is then press shift A and next to curve I'm going to left click on circle just so I can see it I'm going to rotate it by pressing R X 90 and then shift A again and next to curve I'm going to left click on numbers curve drag it over and again R X 90 so, so I can see it right click on your spiral and hold down alt C and then curve from mesh text look for the curve top right of the screen this is between the wrench and the orange disc and then in the bevel object box left click and then left click Bezier circle then in the taper box left click and then left click nums curve now firstly I want to close this up because this is one of the problems you find with um, shells is too much of a hole at the undersize side so let's right click on the circle press S and increase it in size um, I'm going to have a look on the underside so that's uh, control 7 on your numbers pad and that's not looking quite so bad okay that's good now right click on your curve and then press tab and if you press R this happens so you can sort of rotate your view to increase or decrease the amount of taper and if you hold down your left mouse button over your blue you can do this and it will gradually taper it to a sensible sort of size now that's not looking too bad but it's causing a problem up here so I want to be able to close this off reasonably well so what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this selected and I'm going to roll my mouse till I can see the top and because I know that curve is selected I'm going to press G and then Z and then move it till it closes the end off so far so good but again this isn't perfect so we still have issues here first of all we've now created a great big hole in the middle again so <laughs> like I said this isn't going to be necessarily a perfect tutorial but anyway I'm going to go back into this and change the size again
and we still have a problem up here. This is uh, going to be a long tutorial, I think. Check the NUMS curve again, and again. Start adjusting this, like I said. You have to literally, you're going to be, this is more like modeling. You're actually trying to make something well, I'm trying to make something very quickly, which actually takes quite a bit of time. Okay. That's not looking too bad. I, I can accept that. There's no shell that's perfect. So I'm going to leave that. You can see the problem, especially when you're trying to do tutorials. You literally haven't got the time to get it perfect because I've just gone into this blind. OK, I'm going to just press tab again and then right click on the shell and then tab to go back into edit mode. And now if I right click on the end, let's have a look what we can do here. So, making sure you're still connected here. Hold your left mouse button down on the end vertice and you won't see the circle so if you look at the bottom of your screen you'll see because I've got my left mouse button held down proportional size and what you need to do is start rolling your mouse until you get down to probably yeah, here you go now you can start modeling the curve this way so I'm gonna move my mouse to the left in fact I'm gonna roll this out like that and yeah I think that's not too bad so let's just tweak this one a bit you can see you can start modeling your shell even more in fact you can keep go forever in a day um, I'm not going to do much more than this, otherwise I'll be here all day and nobody's ever going to look at a two hour long tutorial, so I think I'll leave that as it is. Um, hopefully that's sort of given you a rough idea of how to create a shell. It's not perfect this one, it needs a bit more tweaking, but it's looking more like the kind of shell that I would expect to see. Um, you can make this um, circle um, oval and you'll end up with an oval sort of shape you can well as you can see it's just an idea of how to make a shell your curve really is the, your, your starting point um, or your spiral so anyway hopefully that's helped somebody thank you for watching cheers